Hi, Chris. Thanks for making it out. Hi, George. It's good to see you. Being able to model here for a mortal, for me, it's a lot of fun because it's, it's bringing the monsters to life. You know, everyone, I don't like being a human. It's not fun. I'd rather be a monster. You know, it still brings out the kid in me. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm uh, one of the fortunate guys to get to model a uh, majority of the masks here at Immortal Masks for the last few years. Get to try on everything new and see all the newest techniques that are being used and uh, effects and everything. Get to be the, one of the first people not only to wear it but to see it too. So, pretty fortunate with that. I don't have a bad job, it's a good gig. The first thing we're going to be <laughs> shooting is, is this, the Red Dragon. When you trigger it, wait like two seconds, then open your mouth and roar because it takes a second for a delay. the heat and then the, the, the smoke to come you out. You get to step out of sight of the, the normal realm of reality, I guess is what it is. And I think everyone should be able to do that once in a while. It helps in life. And uh, I think that's what I, I kind of really enjoy coming here. Okay. Um, we'll try a practice run with it. Dude, we should, all the, all the, George, you know how we have a line of things that uh, smoke and have fog? Mm -hmm. We should call that line, meet the fog <coughs> Meet the foggers. <laughs> Meet the foggers. You don't have one with big fucking hair. Andrew, do you want to come and check it for uh, like movement? So like that now? The team here is incredible. Everyone's uh, real lighthearted, great sense of humor. Let's see, look at the camera and open that mouth and say. So where is the look at now an angry dragon? The, the quality of the masks here at Immortal um, and the detail and everything, it just makes it that much easier and uh, you put the right person in the mask and it just brings it to life. Action. Even before I started being the model here for Immortal, um, I was a huge fan of Immortal, was using Immortal masks in some of the haunted attractions and special events I was uh, working and everything. Uh, we're gonna first put in Chris's contacts. Super big boys. It's important that you have a lot of poo on your fingers before you do this. Yeah, Chris, we like to use Chris because Chris has really huge eyes. <laughs> eyes look, move, look to the side. Yeah, like look at how crazy that is, man. And close slowly. Instant pink eye. Instant pink eye. It's a lot of fun working here. I, like I said, it's not a bad gig. I'm very fortunate to have that job. I say these. Whatever you say, George will say the opposite. I know. He's probably on his phone. They all are very dedicated to what they do. Um, and take it very seriously. Uh, trying to toot my own horn, but it's it's fun. Uh, I'll hold you to that. the top product and make it the best you know quality and as far as effects and paint job and molding and everything it's definitely a team effort here if you're able to bring the monster to life where with latex masks or other ones you're not really able to show me turn towards daddy he's not gonna turn he's <laughs> you ever get that feeling where you go to work you just realize you just shouldn't have gone that day yeah look like a stone raccoon. i just am here for the memories Like I said, it's not a bad gig. I'm very fortunate to have that job. And uh, I get to see all the stuff first before everyone else. And scene. Chris, are you, you're not letting any smoke at all. It's not working, man. I'm pushing the button. 
Oh, you just didn't fucked up now. <laughs>